What's happening beautiful gamers and welcome back to another episode of After Image. So I have decided to 100% scratch the previous episode. It was super messy. I spent like one hour trying to find where to go and I haven't still found it, but I have some good hopes. We know that this is not something that we can do. And this part right here is where we got lost. So we are going to be going through this middle area to see if that is where we need to go. The other sections have been extremely difficult. And we have only gotten destroyed on each one of them. <laughs> so anyways, it's time for us to go through this area. And well, let's see where the game is actually going to take us from there. Hopefully, this will be the actual episode number 13, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, let's just go and let's do what we need to do. These episodes have been kind of tough to, to record, honestly, because everything has become really hard to deal with. And honestly speaking, I'm not sure. It's like, I don't know if there's a reason for it, but look at that. This is our friend. He is once again in front of us. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. And if you guys love it as much as I do, don't forget to leave a like and hey, subscribe to the channel. It would be fantastic. This episode, the comment down below it is Do you guys think that this guy is annoying as fuck? Because I do believe so. What's up, buddy? Although holy grounds are deserted now, I can still feel its past glory. <coughs> holy grounds never fail to remind me of that earth shattering racing and that generational war between humans and Goliaths. Though we managed to defeat the Goliath of Pyro in the end. Countless souls were lost in either the war or the raising. It's such a great cost. Was it really worth all that? <laughs> the Goliaths were also casualties of the war. I never considered that before. Maybe it's because I'm a human. But you're not. <laughs> you're right, Brenda. Different species see things differently. And the outcome of the war left no one unscathed. Everyone could understand one another as we do. Maybe war would be a thing of the past. You may just be a little penguin, but your philosophies are quite deep. Oh, it's you guys! When did you arrive? You two were lost in thought. If Rain never meant to eavesdrop. Brenda always has new perspectives to offer me. Few companions can hold a candle to her. We scoured the ruins of Holy Grounds, but we couldn't find any more clues. Maybe we were wrong from the start. The clue, slumbering in the center of the sea, made us think of the misty waters and the Sea of Souls. But we couldn't pass through the forest for gone. And we still can't enter the Sea of Souls since we're still, you know, alive. So now we're trying our luck here at the Teardrop. It certainly won't be here. The Teardrop has only existed after the Raising. The hermit you were talking about must have lived and died ages and ages ago. The center of the sea could never be this lake. I know, I know. Seems we've no other choice but to head back to the forest for gone and search for a path to the Misty Waters. Ifri and I are heading to the Misty Waters as well. Perhaps we can travel together. Going there is folly. The Misty Waters is boundless. And don't underestimate the mists. You cannot find your north from south, let alone its center. I've heard that over the centuries, not a single ship that sailed deep into its water has ever returned. You're right, Brenda. The Sea of Souls might be even more vast than the Misty Waters, as it contains the souls of the entirety of Engarden. How is it that every sea is so big? Engarden raised. When will we find another clue? Hmm. Speaking of boundless seas, my teacher once told me that the Grand Archives held so many books that it became famed as the Boundless Sea of Knowledge. No one soul could read every tome within. It's because humans are not smart enough. If only you could just remember anything with a glance like it, Free. <sighs> That's right! Grand Archives of Holy Grounds have long been known as the Sea of Knowledge, so the Hermit might have been there as well. That means the center of the sea could also be... Brenda, let's go! Uh, they left before I could finish yet again. And there he goes. 
so now we are in the holy grounds there is something here called the field of pyro that we never really accessed we really never went there so that's a little bit unfortunate we'll eventually get there and also we have something here called the ruby wood desert which is where we came here first you guys remember we can do all of the explorations but i feel like this is a section where you gotta go when you have a little bit more powers anyways hopefully this will be the real area to visit and it seems like it because it starts with a normal tree instead of a big tree <laughs> nothing we did get new powers and new weapons along the way so look at this yep we got new stuff we did get them like going around if you guys really wanna know where i got them so just to show you guys in the well forest for gone we don't have anything to do there misty waters we're almost there but then wait where is the forest for gone is there something that we're missing is the forest for gone where we were before yes it is huh this is the holy grounds interesting so anyways from the forest for gone you guys remember that frozen area we try to do it there is a, a boss in here that's super hard we didn't do any damage to him and he would pretty much kill us in four hits three hits yep. and we got it right here right there that's where we got our, our ice power so just keep that in mind if you wanna guide another one that is like a fire power but it's really useless it's in the ashen canyon from here all the way to the bottom right too so pretty easy pretty easy shouldn't be too hard to remember hopefully wait hello oh there's things being thrown by those guys Why is that thing doing so much damage? And why is those things taking... Oh my god, this is gonna be horrible, isn't it? This is gonna be as horrible, if not more horrible, than the previous section. Oh no, that's bad. Okay, what are you gonna do? Can you hit me from there? Yes, you can. Are you kidding me? Okay. Cannot avoid taking damage. That's fine. I need you to truly die. The experience that they also give you is nothing too impressive. Disappointing. What the? Hello! Oh no, he teleports to me? Wait, how am I supposed to do anything in here? I cannot really climb up. Oh, come on. Are you gonna tell me that I'm lost again and this is not where I need to be? Okay, maybe okay beautiful tree radish now we can actually make the radish dish if we want to super strong enemies left and right cannot access that area that's fine bad mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Oh, i am so scared of this whole section ah Come get closer. You both get closer and you both die, please. Now, what are we gonna find around? This is if we wanna go back to the beginning, which we don't really want to. Okay, uh, we could go to the left. Do I wanna go to the left or to the right? It feels like the it feels like the left is something that yeah. It's definitely something that won't take you anywhere. So might as well just visit it. You don't want to touch that creature. Stay away from him. Wait, did we fall? How far away did we fall? Oh no. Ugh. My bad. Let's go. 
This section here is so tough. No, okay, need to kill this little fella right here before we even think about dealing with that big guy. And then once you reach the big boy, let's ignore him for a second. Of course, we're gonna have to face one of these. But just look at the amount of experience that we are receiving. Have we been there? No, no, no. Open up the map. We haven't, so we could actually jump down if we want to. Do I want to, though? Maybe. Let's, let's just verify. Just gather all the money that you can. Ah, uh, it seems like, yeah, you cannot mess with them, so we're gonna have to go back. This is really bad. This whole world, I do not know when did it become so, diffi so difficult to deal with. Like, for some reason, every single enemy that we're encountering right now, it's absolutely insane. And our armor is not so bad. Or maybe it's terrible and we haven't just realized about it. What massive remains? So this thing from the past protected us all? <laughs> Free. If we worked hard to create it with the primeval spell back then. But I can only do it that one time. Oh, if we must have been so powerful then. Well, I did use the shards in your mask as its core component. Anyways, I should be the only one in the entirety of Endgarden that can cast such a spell. This is so dumb. Stay away from me. Okay, let's do this one. This is for you guys to read. And now that we are far away from that guy, we wait. We cannot really do anything right now, can we? Yeah, he's hundred percent yelling me. Wait, so if that is not possible, what am I supposed to do now? Pretty sure you guys remember this area. We decided to walk all the way here just to see what is it that we're going to find. Hopefully, we will find some, I don't know, maybe new location. The main reason why I decided to explore this area again is because, well, you guys remember when I was kind of thinking and in the Holy Land, the guy kind of mentioned, yeah, we went to the forest for gone and there was nothing. And well, that was the forest for gone. So that probably is an area that we do have to explore. So I got a feeling that I had a feeling that I needed to like do something else that wasn't just I mean, I don't know. The point is, I'm trying to guess where to go. <laughs> Cannot go higher. That's unfortunate. And there is a guardian in there. It's fine. It's probably going to be a boss fight in here. Though there is an enemy, so I probably doubt it. And look where she's at. You guys remember her? Oh, if we are able to access that, we can speak with her and be best friends with her. Oh, yeah. I like the idea. Let's open up that door for her. She might be the answer to all our problems. But look at the difference. Enemy is dying in, in like one hit. I mean, again, I'm not saying that enemies should die in one hit. But compared to the areas where enemies were dying in like a million hits, I would say that two hits is a nice, it's a nice balance. We can actually jump in there if we want to. No, wait. We can do it. We can definitely do it. Okay, we can at least get the item, which is a resting potion. No, get away from me. Let's get out of here. We definitely don't belong in there. That was a lot of damage. That was just a random room, so we don't really care about it. And now we gotta deal with these enemies. Hey. 
Okay, they do have a lot of health, but it seems like their amount of the amount of health that they have is a little bit more balanced. And this is probably another diary. Day number two and number one, maybe? No, just number two. That's bad. See, those enemies are more balanced. Like, like we can definitely deal with them, but never with the ones below before. And what is this? The see, we have the mage again. Hello, traveler. Nice to run into you again. You gave me advice about traveling, and it has never faded from my mind. See, this place is quite clean. I can rest and relax here. There seems to be a powerful force protecting the teacups. Monsters in the forest are too fearful to come near. When I tap these teacups, they emit different sounds. But what for? I don't understand. So that's the secret to the puzzle that we gotta solve right now. Probably... Yeah. So we cannot really... Oh. Not the answer that we're looking for. There is a new power that we acquired. That was... This puzzle right here has been a little bit tough. Let's do it again. you go that's what i'm talking about that was that was a really that was a really difficult one i gotta be honest it it i mean it was just matter of trying and error but that was that was an easy to 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 achieve maybe we can replace our weapon for the new one 93 damage mp recovery when equipped now you have a new power that's just Fantastic. Let's equip it. Let's use it. It's just, it's just a better weapon. And what are you going to say now? Wow, you're amazing. I'm delighted you solved the puzzle. I'm returning to the lab to find Master then. Goodbye. I wonder if Master has finished her work. So now I guess if you go back to rest in town, you can have a conversation with her and be best friends with her. And now we'll, with our new power, can we kill this thing? Yeah, you can. And now we are way faster than before. You gotta kill those things if you wanna open up the mushrooms. And once again, I mean, we're finding things to do. But are we actually clearing this path? Because we could have gone below, but we didn't. And I think below might be nice. So let's just go a little bit below. This episode might end up being a little bit longer. But of course, it's kind of difficult for me to guess because I've been recording for more than an hour already. Just trying to discover where to go and what to do. That can become tough. Okay, careful with explosives, okay? Right now, I just want to go down and speak with Madame Levine. So we can know exactly where she wants to go to. And well, they, there is a tree, so that's pretty much our call, as always. Did you just fart and... Yeah, they're, they're, his fart is so toxic that you don't have a choice but to like smell it until everything has rotted. Oh boy, and with this done, this right here is exactly where we are going to be wrapping things up for the day. Like, honestly speaking, I don't... I don't really see anything else other than, well, <laughs> keep exploring this whole new area that it seems like we are defeating enemies, which is fantastic, but at the same time, it seems like we're still lost, so who knows what's gonna happen next. Stay tuned for more. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.